up, let's get into this workout. So Mel G Fit on Instagram is my personal trainer. I will have all of her information in the description box below. This whole workout is all from her, so I take no credit. I am so beyond blessed to be under her guidance. Kalani is joining us here. What a cutie, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, we started with squat jumps. I hate these. I just, my whole body feels heavy when I do them, and it's like learning to engage the right muscles and squeeze with the booty. Yeah, they're tough. I'm like tired just watching myself do that. So, next is Sumo Squat Pulse. These I actually really like. They really like activate my glutes, and I always squeeze when I get to the top. You can see I'm holding a jug of water. Um, it used to be like a juice thing, but I filled it up with water and that's just for weight. Um, dumbbell squats, again, same thing with the water. And as I'm doing these exercises, you guys, just keep in mind, like this entire uh, workout plan is customized for me. So um, no two workouts are the same. And if they are, it's like because they hit really good the first time and she wants me to do it a second time. So I'm learning as I go kind of how what feels best for my body, I guess. So as you can see, I just switched from holding the jugs on the outside to holding them on the inside in between. And it's all about just really engaging at the top, really squeezing forward. So same thing, a different uh, water, I think that, or a different little jug of water. These are box pistol squats. And these are actually a lot harder than they look, to be honest. Like really 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 engage your glute and your hamstring into this and i'm just using this little table to sit down on because it's all i got and honestly i think if i did these on the couch i would like never get up and dowel overhead squat so you're supposed to like improvise with a broomstick or something like that i don't have one so i'm just using holding my one of my resistance bands up just to keep my arms like overhead and in place been hydrated with my water yes girl but yeah I don't know what it is about these maybe it's just the way that I had to engage but I found that pretty challenging which is good you know challenge is good definitely these made me sweat a lot a lot All right, so next are squatting internal rotations. These, this is my first time trying this as well, and I found it super awkward. <laughs> it's just as awkward as it looks, and of course I'm showing you guys the weirdest angle of it, but it was felt really weird on my knees. Um, I talked to my trainer, and here is Tuna. He is literally a mood. Oh, look at this man doing, he knows how to work out. Am I right, ladies? Yeah. But yeah, so I talked to my trainer about uh, this move and you can see I'm just kind of readjusting, figuring out my positioning to get the best engagement. It's supposed to be engaging for your glutes um, and it takes a lot of balance as well. So next is resistance band deadlift and I love these. I really feel them in my hamstrings and my glutes when I squeeze forward at the top. You can see again, I'm holding a jug of water for added weight and difficulty. And Tunchi is gonna come on in here and help out his mommy with his workout. Oh, cute boy. Yeah. What a good man. Wow, he's so majestic on this yoga mat. He literally thinks it's his. So here's just another angle of this. And you guys can see again, it's all about adjusting to feel where you're getting the most like muscle engagement. So you can see me kind of taking my time Also, there was a set of straight leg deadlifts, which for some reason my I didn't record. So just that was in here too. So dumbbell glute bridge on the floor. Um, I personally like these better on the bench, but my trainer had me doing them on the floor, man. She likes to 
push me <laughs> to try different things and you know engage so um, again the added weight at the top with the jug of water and Clonnie is so patiently watching me the resistance band also really helps with activation so you can see I'm kind of like pushing my knees out when I get to the top that helps as well so floor glute kickbacks and I added the resistance band to really get in there so as you guys can see I'm trying really hard to keep my core nice and tight as tight as I can so that I'm really isolating just the glute for this this will definitely have you sore afterwards and I wanted to show you guys how I kind of switch the band so you can see where it's placed like over the hams over the back of my hamstring of behind the knee of the leg that I'm kicking and then it's under the knee of the one I'm standing on, if that makes sense. I know that sounds really weird, but you guys see what I'm doing. So child's pose, ooh girl. Stretch it out and on to the next. I really love these. Um, honestly, you can get so creative with resistance bands at home, you guys. And trust me, this looks super easy, but by the end of it, you will be like, all right. <laughs> Whole time while I'm doing these, I'm really just thinking about that mind to muscle connection of the actual glute. Just trying really hard to isolate it and make sure that my glute is the muscle that's working during this. Sometimes my hamstrings feel like they take over. Plenty's hilarious. He <laughs> is a mood again, a full mood. All right, so dumbbell single leg deadlifts. This was again my first time trying this exercise and let me tell you you can see the struggle is real um not only is my camera out of focus and in focus but also just in general balancing during this is like really hard um and i am holding a weight as well with my water jug yep see i just fell off but it's all about just fit, finding your balance and if you fall down just get back up and honestly i know this is a little weird it's kind of cringy to watch myself do this poorly but it's like I'm still trying and I feel like I just you know wanted to leave that in here for you guys to see like when you're trying new things it's gonna feel weird I'm only showing you guys the first two sets of this but by the end honestly like I was so much stronger I mean even in the second one here you can see I'm really like having a lot stronger balance and actually we do have a dominant side as well. I definitely think my left leg is a lot stronger than my right leg as far as holding up for balance. Like you can see I'm still struggling a little bit, but it's all about practice guys. So hang in there and try new things, I promise. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you fall down, it's all about how many times you get back up for sure. All right, so this is wall sits. Um, she had me doing three sets of, tw of 20 seconds. And obviously like you guys know what a wall sit is, so I don't have to get too much into this. Glute side circle. And I started out doing these in kind of like the outward direction. Um, and then you can see I actually went inwards, but yep, the outward direction. Um, and then I decided to actually switch it up and do the inward direction on the next set these oh my god you guys like for real fire up the glutes like like no other honestly i don't even it makes me tired just watching it <laughs> but really really good for you and as you can see i was feeling it so i stretched it out um after this i actually did 3d lunges as well unfortunately i thought i was recording it but i wasn't so yeah I am literally sweating and tired from this workout, so just goes to show, get creative, get active, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!